it seems like Elon Musk might have made a significant mistake and the president of Kenya, Ruto, has raised some serious concerns about Starlink's presence in the country. Let's dive into this. President Ruto has revealed that Starlink, Elon Musk's satellite internet service, could be a ticking time bomb in Kenya. Now, that's a pretty strong statement to make, but let's break it down. Starlink is an ambitious project aimed at providing internet access to underserved and remote areas around the world using a network of satellites. In Kenya, like in many other developing countries, access to the internet can be a game-changer for education, communication, and economic development. So, what's the problem? Let me explain. <laughs> President Ruto's recent visit to SpaceX's factory in Los Angeles, where Starlink is operated, shed light on the pressing issue of internet accessibility in Kenya. He urged Elon Musk Starlink to find ways to make internet services more affordable for Kenyan citizens. This call for action resonates with the aspirations of many Kenyans who seek cost-effective internet solutions. But will Starlink heed President Ruto's plea and reduce internet costs in Kenya? The answer to this question carries significant implications for the future of internet connectivity in the country. Acknowledging Starlink's potential, President Ruto highlighted how this satellite internet service could greatly improve connectivity in remote areas, schools, and various institutions across Kenya. It is evident that Starlink has the capacity to unlock the full potential of Kenya's digital economy. However, achieving this requires addressing the issue of affordability. So, what challenges does Starlink face in Kenya and why might it be considered a ticking time bomb in the country? Let's break down these concerns. Firstly, Starlink faces fierce competition in Kenya, particularly from Safaricom, a telecommunications giant that has already established a dominant presence in the market. Kenyans are known for their propensity to choose cost-effective options, and if Starlink's services remain overpriced, it could struggle to compete with more affordable alternatives. Furthermore, Kenya's current economic climate is characterized by challenges, including high taxation imposed by the government. In such trying times, affordability becomes even more crucial. Starlink must take these economic factors into account to ensure its sustainability. Secondly, Starlink primarily targets remote areas in Kenya. While this is a commendable initiative to bridge the digital divide, it's essential to consider the unique challenges faced by people in these regions. Remote areas often have limited access to basic necessities, including food. Therefore, the affordability of Starlink's services becomes even more critical. People in such areas may prioritize their immediate needs over internet connectivity, potentially impacting Starlink's adoption rate. So, what steps can Elon Musk and Starlink take to avoid becoming a ticking time bomb in Kenya? Let's explore some potential solutions. Firstly, Elon Musk should consider adjusting Starlink's pricing strategy to make it more competitive in the Kenyan market. This would not only attract more users but also ensure the service's long-term viability. Additionally, Starlink could explore partnerships with local organizations and government initiatives to subsidize internet access in remote areas, making it a more attractive option for underserved communities. Furthermore, Elon Musk's philanthropic efforts in Kenya could play a pivotal role in addressing the challenges faced by remote communities. By investing in initiatives that improve living conditions and access to basic necessities, Starlink can create a more conducive environment for its services to thrive. Moreover, engaging with local leaders and stakeholders to better understand the needs and preferences of Kenyan communities will be crucial in tailoring Starlink's offerings to suit their specific requirements. In conclusion, while Starlink holds immense potential to revolutionize internet access in Kenya, it must navigate several challenges to avoid becoming a ticking time bomb in the country. President Ruto's call for affordability is a critical factor that Starlink should address promptly. By making its services more accessible and affordable, Starlink can secure its place as a valuable asset in Kenya. Kenya's digital transformation. Elon Musk and Starlink have an opportunity to make a positive impact on the lives of Kenyan citizens, but this can only be realized through strategic pricing, community engagement, and a commitment to addressing the unique challenges of remote areas. The future of Starlink in Kenya is in the balance, and it remains to be seen whether Elon Musk will take the necessary steps to ensure its success. Kenyans are eagerly waiting to see how Starlink will evolve and contribute to their nation's digital future.